We've got to stand up to an administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Two male, that's sexist. Two pale, <laughs> he white, that's racist. He's too white. We got to get rid of him. Could y'all imagine, answer me right now in the comments, what would have happened if that was a white person saying, we need to take this person down because they are too male and too black? <laughs> what, what would y'all have said? Y'all would have had, everybody on MSNBC would have been out in the streets marching with picket signs and, and, and burning up buildings, burning up people's businesses, burning up churches, because they would think that it's an attack on all of black people. Nah, bruh. Nah. Letitia, you got to go ahead. It's time for you to eat your own minutia that you've been putting out there because you started this. You started this. Trump actually tried to say this a minute ago. As soon as Letitia tried to come at him with this, he jumped out there and he let everybody know what it was. But people thought he was just crying. Nah, he knew that she was being racist. Here he is right here. Lastly, I'm under investigation. This time a civil investigation by another racist in reverse who also campaigned on, I will get Trump. I will get him. This was her campaign never ran for office. I will get him. Her name is Letitia James. I'm going to try to share this other story that I came across. And they're actually talking about how Donald Trump actually has a leg to stand on in this civil rights suit that he could potentially press against her. And we about to see what happens with this. To me, this shows a level of Trump hatred and contempt in that particular media outlet. What say you? Stuart, you're right about that. And you said earlier that this is unfair to Trump. I think it's also unfair to NBC's viewers. Uh, these people have a fantastic opportunity to bring Ronna McDaniel in, put makeup on her face, sit her in a chair like I'm sitting here, and have her trapped in a studio with lights on, put her on live television, and ask her, how can you possibly defend what jo Donald J. Trump just said? How can you possibly uh, be a, a fan of his and right. vote for this guy, given his record, and grill her every day like a piece of salmon, and have her sit there? And she can't say, I don't want to do it because she's an employee, so she has to show up. So this is a magnificent opportunity. Imagine if we could have John Kerry here now that he's not working for the White House anymore and bring him in and ask him, you know, how can you defend the collapse in Afghanistan? You know, why, why did you uh, and uh, President uh, Biden hand 80 or so billion dollars to Iran? And every day bring the guy in and ask him tough questions. This reminds me of college where uh, colleges will bring in conservative speakers and the students will rebel and say, we don't want that person, get him out of here and sometimes uh, attack speakers, run them off campus. This is the adult version of that kind of misbehavior. I here we go. I wonder if they'll let her go. There is talk that, uh, of an open revolt across the network that she has to go. Uh, the management should, should act like adults and say, okay, this woman, we've hired her. Your job is to ask her tough questions, as tough as you want. If you want to make her look like a fool on the air, that's just fine. But your job as journalists is to ask her questions, find out what she thinks, challenge everything she says, comment on what she says. But she's going to be in here presenting that point of view. And you can present whatever other point of view you, uh, we, uh, you want to. You but that is, that is the view of about half the country. That, that view ought to be there at NBC. Do you think that Donald Trump should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James? And on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that, right? He said she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. And he's about to tell y'all exactly why Donald J. Trump have a leg to stand on when it comes to this civil suit. Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for attorney general that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. 
Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but two male and two pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for... Uh, $311 million her office is getting? What? Now, y'all just now said, when he said too male, too pale, too stale, you can talk about the stale ideas, you can talk about him being too old and senile and all them other things that they want to act as if he's just like Biden, but he's not because he's far more sharp than Biden and many other people who are far younger than him. He can get up there and talk about things at mass, at nauseam, and still have his wits about him, but he's not that. But the too male and too pale thing, you're talking about sexism and you're talking about racism off top. You can sue for those things, especially if you are getting funding from the federal government. If you're getting funding from the federal government, you cannot use language like that. Unless I'm missing something. I was with the federal government for 17 years. I had to take mandatory training annually. I had to give mandatory training for my base twice a year, twice a year. So I know how serious this is. And if you say somebody, you're firing somebody, or you want to go after somebody, you want to take a lawsuit to somebody simply because they're a man, you can be fired for that. And you can have a lawsuit on your hands for that. If you fire somebody, you say, I fired you because you're a man. You're going to get your ass sued. If you tell somebody, I'm firing you because you're white, you getting your ass sued. If you say, I'm firing somebody because you're black, you're going to get sued. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping him. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. How is that any different from this right here? Huh? He's too male? He's too pale? <laughs> that's sexism and that's racism. You just now heard it right here. And I'm not trying to add any pepper or, or adobo or be salt bay about it. But I want y'all to hear this again, man, how this guy breaks it down. Because he asked her, he asked him, do you think Donald J. Trump can sue Letitia James. Listen to this just one more time. Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for attorney general that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So $311 million, y'all. Keep that in your back pocket, all right? Remember that. When you're getting that type of funding from the federal government, you cannot speak like this. You cannot file lawsuits against people simply because they are men and simply because they are white. Sorry, you can't. Now, let me tell y'all something. If I got any black people watch me right now, you're like, man, the shame on you, bruh, going after this black woman like that. Let me tell you something. This ain't about black and white to me at all, man, at all. I get it. I get it. We supposed to stick together, brother. Stick together, brother. I'm sticking on. Listen, I'm, I'm with the righteous people. I'm with people that put God and family first. All right. That's who I'm with. And right now we have someone, the president, the United States president, this current administration. Now, they can't tie Joe Biden to this specifically, but this current administration, they put a battery pack in Letitia James back. And she ran with it. And she got on her bullhorn. And she said, we are going after him. He will know my name. That's what she said. She said, he will know my name. He will know who I am at the end of this. And she's in front of her little audience. And they start, they start to yell. Back when they start to chant. Too male. Too stale. Too pale. Too male, 
too pale, too stale. And I get it. Letitia James, I get it. You black. You want to start a little rhyme. You want to show them that you cool. You want to show them that you got a little bit of soul, like that you eat greens and you eat cornbread and you eat candied yams and you know how to dance and you probably got a fat booty and you and you can say a, and you can drop some bars here and there because I'm black, so I'm going to make up something that rhymes. And, and you thought you was just rhyming, but you actually said something racist that's going to end up with you either in jail or paying uh your own bail at the millions huh and now you the joke you the joke you tried to drain his finances you tried to take his assets you tried to embarrass this man publicly this was a public stoning that's what you tried to do to him and you didn't cover your own ass at first you saw what happened to Fonnie Willis, didn't you? Huh? When you do things and you operate under ill intent and you're not putting God first, karma is going to reverse uno you. <laughs> it is. Right when you say, uno, I only got one card. <laughs> Look at y'all. Then somebody going to hit draw four. Draw four. Skip. Draw four. Draw two. Skip. Draw four. Draw two. Y'all ever had that happen before? You thought that you was about to win the game with Uno. You yelled out, Uno. Then somebody hit you with a draw four. <laughs> somebody hit you with a draw four. You just now got hit with a draw four and you did it yourself. So anybody that want to tell me that I should not be on this train going after this black woman because she's black, simply because she's black. Let me tell you something. You're slow. And that's okay. It's kind of, it's all right. It's all right, baby. All right? But what you're not going to do is get me to play that whole race hustle thing that you're doing. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that at all. I do realize that there's a whole bunch of content creators out here with huge followings, huge followings, who are race hustlers. I know you're out there. I see you doing your thing. Shout out to you. Hopefully you get as much people on your train as possible and you can trick them into believing that you actually love and care about black people and you continue to sell them lies. But I'm telling you right now, if you operate under ill intent, karma is right around the bend. Karma is right around the corner and it's going to come bite you in your ass. And if you don't believe me, keep on doing what you're doing. Because you saw what Letitia James is doing. Everybody was celebrating her. Everybody on the left, MSDNC, MSNBC, CNN, everybody was talking about it. They was loving the fact that they was like, yes, go get him. Take all his money. I, I look at him. He ain't got $500 million to bail himself out of this one. Look at you, rich white man. It's your turn now. No, <laughs> Letitia James, it's your turn. It's your turn, babe. You the one came up with that stupid ass rhyme. That's what you get anyway. That was a dumb bar. I don't like that rhyme anyway. Because you came with that dumb rap about too male, too, too pale, too stale. He need to go to jail. Too pale, too male, too stale. He need to go to jail. Come on now. Now you about to have a daggone lawsuit on your hands. And it's a good one. It's not something that's made up. It's racist. You work for the federal government. The federal government supplies you with $300 million. $300 million. Now, when that happens, you got to be apolitical. Do you know what apolitical is? Like, you, you, you can't just take one side over the other. You can't. And you sure can't go after people simply because they're white and because they're male. You can't. When I started to see some of these conservative channels say, they're starting to go after the white man now. They're going after the white man. The only person that don't have the protection is the white man, the white man, the white man. And I was like, man, shut up. Ain't nobody going after no white man. Ain't nobody thinking about going after the white man. Well, guess what? It looks like they're going after the white man. <laughs> and her name is Letitia James, a.k.a. Respucia Lattimore. Y'all know who, that's Respucia Lattimore, all right? 
So this is the last time I want y'all to hear this right here. Because if you haven't heard this, you need to tap in. And I'm going to let y'all know, again, the very first time I heard this could be possible, that Trump have a leg to stand on by pressing charges against Letitia James and her whole department that she works for was on Modern Renaissance Man's channel. Shout out to Dr. Ty, because when he pulled up with this information and I reached out to him, I was like, bruh, I, I want to I wanna react to your channel, man. I want to react to some of your videos because you are on point. You are getting this information, bro. So shout out to you. You know what I mean? He came, introduced me to this information. So I had to find it and introduce it to you guys. And I didn't want to be lazy and just go to his channel and say, hey, guys, look what he said. Look what he said. Nah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you that people are actually having discussions about this. And Trump, he's, I don't think Trump's dancing around, doing the jig and excited that he can now press a lawsuit against Letitia James. I think Trump actually just want all of this stuff to end so that he can continue to move toward the presidency again and fix all this bull sugar honey iced tea that has happened while Joe Biden was at the helm. That's it. So here we go. Should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think I, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she's running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. Yes, it does. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, 311 million dollars approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So the federal money is flowing into her office, and if she is engaged in that kind of sexual and racial discrimination and, and that kind of language, I think she's wide open to exposure on the 64 Civil Rights Act. Donald J. Trump should sue Letitia James on the basis of civil rights. Have you suggested this to Trump? I will, so I'm writing about he, this. He's listening. I, I, I think he'll, the message will get to him sooner or later. Good stuff. DeRoy, you're all right. All right. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you, Stuart. Yeah, I heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that, right?